I do hope that you can join me in appreciating this truly beautiful evening, a night that is absolutely ideal for a game of football. The scenes here really are something, a beautiful picture under the floodlights, traffic and transport round here, not the kindest, but regardless of that, the fans have found a way of getting here. There is a sense of theatre and the decibel levels are rising. This place is living up to its reputation as one of the noisiest corners of the footballing world. No decibels spared in this collective chorus. Things have got on the way here pretty promptly. And that looks a decent ball. And it's ruffled a few feathers, but well dealt with. Arham and Amat Indonesia without doubt seeing more of the ball and looking to turn it now into something meaningful and that is as far as they're going to go There's always a chance of being caught like that when you surrender the football. The goal scorer for Iraq after 13 minutes is number 10. Iraq gain their reward with an early goal. Played out towards the right wing. First quarter of an hour gone. Indonesia really can't go chasing this game too soon. Any rash decisions now could see them lose it. are behind here despite their domination of possession Ops for safety
he was quick to react. Now looking to orchestrate a counter. Aim forwards. Oh, that's well done. Really robust. And that interception was most necessary. It's the sort of situation that they'll want to capitalise on now. Pass is coming off in quick succession here. Such good technique. Cross goes in there. Will keep his ball. Latch on to this. This is good pressing, they're not short on bodies. Indonesia truly have no need to panic, they can reassess at half-time. That's a throw. Adnan. Long way. Well, that is one way to stop him. Well, they could break here. Driving forward. At now. That a foul? Yes, the uh, referee's given it. Amat. And that'll be the final action of the first half.